I know for a fact this next guy that's coming is definitely a fighter. Question is, is he a mixed martial artist? Talk more shit about this guy than anybody ever. And coming from me, that's saying a lot. So let's bring number 16 in. Who is it, Tank Abbott? <laughs> 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 what's up, Kimbo? What's up, what's up, d -Dub? Jump in line there. Kimbo Slice is a guy who basically got famous off of YouTube fighting in people's backyards, and a guy whom I've talked a ton of shit about over the last few years. Basically saying this guy is always gonna be the toughest guy at the barbecue, uh, but he's not a mixed martial artist. Being on the show itself, you know, it's an honor, you know what I'm saying, considering all that shit. Dana White was saying about me. It's all good, though. Feel me? He's on my team. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think Kimbo Slice, uh, he kind of has a bounty over his head, for sure. And when he walked in, it was kind of like the sheep entering the room with a bunch of wolves, for sure. Dana had the big announcement. I thought I was the big announcement, but apparently I wasn't. Um, and then lo and behold, you know, Kimbo Slice coming through the door. And there's, you know, other fighters that are, I know, that are just as good as he is or better. I'm already street certified for doing what I do. And so now it's time to take it to the next level and prove myself as an ultimate fighter. And I think there's going to be millions of fans that tune in to this show to see me eat some crow, you know, and want Kimbo to prove me wrong. So here we go. We're going to find out. First thing I thought about walking in and seeing all these big guys, there was a lot of meat in there. I was like, damn, some big <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna fight next. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure of it. And that's what I'm coming with, America. That's what I'm coming with. I'm coming with, with I'm coming with the knowledge knowing that I, I'm coming here to fight. I'm, I'm, I'm here to prove myself as an ultimate fighter. It's an honor training with Rampage, you know what I'm saying? Not every day, you know what I'm saying? A person like myself would get to train with someone like a Rampage, you know? Someone who really would, you know, really takes the time to him and his team. These guys really take the time and, and, and show me things. All right, guys, uh, get wrapped up. Set everybody set up a Kimbo Slice. We got specialness for you. We got specialness for you. Well, everybody know I was excited to get Kimbo, you know what I'm saying? I see, uh, I see myself in Kimbo a little bit like when I first started out fighting. So I'm trying to show him some things that worked for me. Yeah, there you go. Keep that head down. Push that head down. Wherever his head goes, he's going to go. Throw him up on your hips. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Everybody know what my strength is. America, you know what my strength is. Um, I'm learning a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sponge. You know what I'm saying? I want to learn as I go on. I'm here to learn as well as to fight. You gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to it, but at least now you know it, right? Yeah. You know what you gotta do. Right. Better than sitting there going, what the f am I gonna Getting do? Getting on my knees and being here and wondering, yeah, what do I do? Everybody know that they're gonna come out, come out to Kimbo. They're gonna put one of their wrestlers or their jujitsu guys on Kimbo and try to take them down, take them out. Nice. Nice. The second one. <laughs> nice. You learn fast, huh? He's like a sponge. Find that elbow, find the elbow, Kim. Yeah, there you go. That's four. That's four. Good job. I got a lot of faith in Kimbo. I think he he's, he's a fast learner. He's, he's uh, hungry to learn, and he's very coachable. So we just preparing for the worst and getting Kimbo ready. I like the way you work hard, Kimbo Slice. Thank you very much, my face, Jackson. <laughs>